Good morning. Today is Monday, February 5th in Sanibel. I want to tell you about my Vision Pro experience. On Friday, we went to the Apple Store at Coconut Point. It turned out to be a pretty elaborate process. Uh, for one thing, they took my eyeglasses and put them in a machine called the Lensometer, which I loved, uh, to read the prescriptions in my eyeglasses to make temporary uh, inserts that they could put into a demo model of the uh, Vision Pro so that they could show me how to work it. It was really smart because before I even had mine delivered to me, they brought it out in a, a box, um, this guy was helping me to put, put them on and to, to handle the, the essential element of these in, in my experience. When you're wearing them, you're seeing icons and whichever icon you look at, it gets a little bigger. And then if you tap your finger and your thumb together, just very lightly, it will activate. If it's the photos icon, your photo choices will show up and you can, you can do either finger and you can have your hands just resting. I thought this was going to be difficult to learn, but the minute I had it on, it just was intuitive. It felt magic, you know, when technology does really odd things, uh, it ends up feeling magical. And uh, it reminded me of the time when Steve Jobs introduced the first iPhone. And I happened to be there at the Moscone Center in San Francisco, 2007. Uh, and his thing was, today we're introducing three new products, a phone, a browser, and a music player a phone, a browser, and a music player. And they had big screen slides up. And then they, they came together. He said, and they're all one device. And it was just like, and then he started showing how you could, you know, order Starbucks from this new iPhone. And that sense of, oh my, from the master Steve Jobs. Well, now here's his company, long after his death, uh, coming up with something that just felt that way. You look at something, you touch your finger and your thumb together and it activates. Uh, yes, I did sleep with it. And this is something that is sort of a joke in the family dating back to when I had my uh, Davy Crockett hat in Texas and I just went to bed with it. Well, I went to bed with the carrying case with the Vision Pro in this sort of NASA-like uh, carrying case. It's soft, it's white, it looks like it could float around the space station. Uh, and I just kept it next to me all night after I had it, and it was wonderful. Uh, now, another thing that I remember is when I had Google Glass, and this was Google's version. They were eyeglasses, and that you could see something in the screen, and you could tap on the side. And this was 13 years ago, and I had Google Glass in Denver. And it irritated people. You know, it, it became something that people mocked, and I felt... Uh, awkward wearing them in public uh, and and looking back Google Glass you know never really got traction and I think it was just too weird for the time so I was interested to see what it would be like to go to the farmers market here in Sanibel with my Vision Pro and just walk through filming a video and I felt like it wasn't weird and in fact I bought some chicken salad from a guy and I'm just doing my thing, I'm wearing the thing, I can see him, he sees I'm wearing the glasses and uh, it feels like time has passed, a lot of people have seen VR headsets of one kind or another uh, and it's, it's not so weird. Let me, uh, I'm going to put them on now and uh, this, you, you put it on very comfortably and when you put it on it lights up and now I can see the camera and I can see my notes. I have to enter my uh, password or my code. I do that by looking at the numbers on the screen and uh, tapping in. Now I can see the icons. If I do the photos, I can tap there and look in. Uh, you can move the screens around. So I've had one there, I could open another one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of magical. Vision Pro. Pretty amazing. Thanks for listening and watching.